Oh, hello. Yes, um, am I through to Stonebridge congregation? Yes, you are. How can I help? Oh, yes, thank you. Um, it, it's very difficult to hear you. There's a sort of lot of noise in the background. Um, yes, that's where I am, yeah. Oh, right. Um, uh, I was on JW Broadcasting, and I heard that Brother Morris has stood down. I, I, I read a notice about that, and I'm kind of a bit shocked. Why did he stand down? It's not very clear. Um, we don't have the, I don't have the information uh, at this moment. Um, no, that wasn't. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I don't know is the answer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if if there were ten people on the governing body, and Brother Morris is no longer on the governing body, is he still yes. one of the anointed? Is he still one of the hundred and forty-four thousand, or is he not one of the hundred and forty-four thousand? Um. It's a, it's a personal, I think you'll have to ask him directly because that is something that is, um, that is a personal, you know, relationship with him and Jehovah. That's not something um, anybody else um, would be privy to. But yeah, I, mean, I think the best person to ask that question would be him directly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, as Brother Morris was one of ten people on the governing body, Yes. And it looks like he's been kicked out because they didn't say in the notice, well done, Brother Morris, for your many years of service. We're so grateful to you. It was just a very curt notice. It looks as if he's been kicked out. Does that mean that there is no longer a full governing body? Because if you only have nine-tenths of the governing body, does that mean that they're not the real governing body because it's only nine-tenths of them? Um, I don't know if you're aware, but two brothers were appointed into the governing body. Yes, that made weeks, that so made yeah. ten. Eight plus okay. the two new ones was ten. Exactly. So, so they kicked out point. Brother Morris. So um, they're back down to nine governing body members. But if there were I mean, ten, if the governing body was ten and they kicked one out, does that mean there's no longer a, a full governing body? The best you've got is nine tenths of the governing body. There was a time there was eight, and at that time it was a full governing body. I think having it nine does not in any way make it less of a full government body. Mm. Um, so I keep using the word kicked out. Um, that is just pure speculation because no one's got any confirmation of the fact that that was what happened. Um, I do not know myself, so I'm not going to be speculating. All I know yes. is he's no longer serving as a member of the government body. Um, it doesn't change the fact that he's anointed. Um, there are more than there are more than eight or ten anointed uh, people on earth. Um, only only ten was serving as government body at the time. Um, there is rather lots that are not that are still anointed but not member of the government body. Again, I cannot confirm and yes. I also cannot speculate. I'm just gonna go with the information we have on the yes. website and that's the information there is, yes. Um, I'm not a Jehovah's Witness, but I'm reading your literature. Yes. I think that there's no such organisation as a faithful and discreet slave, because if you go to Matthew 24, 45, and you look at verse 48 also, it's a contrast between one servant, a single person in the singular, who's faithful to God, and another one who's not faithful to God in verse 48. It's not talking about a composite body. If the faithful and discreet slave was some composite organisation made out of eight or nine or ten people, then surely, surely it would have been used in the plural. But because the servant is a singular servant in verse 45, who then is a faithful and wise servant? It's, it's all singular. And in verse 48, the wicked servant is singular. Don't you think that this is talking about one single person, not a composite body of eight or nine or ten people. Um, so you use the word organization. There's only one organization, and that's the organization of Jehovah's Witnesses. We have a group of brothers that help to coordinate, organize, and you know, and lead that organization. It's not a singular person, so no one is a head 
of this organization. You have a group of brothers who are made up of, who are picked from the anointed to lead that organization. You cannot have all 144,000 of them leading at the same time. Um, there's a number, uh, that number is eight. I think that number, uh, the number is nine at the moment. It's nine, yes, it's nine, not they, eight. They, they do a fantastic job coordinating, really? organizing, and leading the body. Yes. Yes. Um, I think, I think, I think that's fine. As you can tell, I'm not at home. I'm in the, I'm in the place where there's a lot of noise in the background, so I can't really have um, a proper conversation about this. So yes. you've called me at the wrong time. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. It, it's just that when you read Matthew 24, 45 and 48, yeah. the servants, the faithful servant and the wicked servant are clearly one single person in this parable. It's not a composite body of eight or nine or ten people. Yeah. Like I said, I, I really I haven't got my Bible with okay. me. Uh, can, I'm on the phone in a, in a public place at the moment. Okay, well, um, some other time. I haven't, I haven't met Dina, um, so it's really not the right time to have this conversation. Um, I would love to, you know, have the conversation and help. Okay. Well, yeah, but, but just not just, 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 yes, just of, the right of course. Of, of, of course. Well, my name is Robert. If you want to call me back, if you could, yeah. uh, um, I'm free all, all uh, most of the weekend. Okay, Brilliant. Thank, that's fine. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank bye. you. Bye bye. I'm going to ask people to please help me. I live on a limited income and I cannot possibly afford to telephone abroad. However, Zoom calls are free. So if people were to get me Zoom details for Kingdom Halls in their country, which is outside of the UK, and email them to me, my email is at the start of most of my videos, then I can contact those Kingdom Halls for free. Um, I would need the name of the congregation. I'm very insistent that the name of the congregation is given. The town or city, the state, maybe your state has an abbreviation, so write it out in full. Give the abbreviation as well. Which country are you in? Please don't make any assumptions that I'm going to understand this. If, if you're in Australia or New Zealand I, or, or Canada, I'm not going to understand um, abbreviation. So write everything out clearly. Um, the Zoom logon details, uh, the passcode, the times of the meetings, and which time zone each of these Kingdom Halls are in. For instance, if you were to get me three Kingdom Halls in America, it would be great to have one on Eastern Standard Time, which is five hours ahead of the UK, one on Mountain Standard Time, which is seven hours ahead of the UK, and one in California which is eight hours ahead of the UK. Do you, do you get it? So in, on one Sunday, when I'm going to be doing this Zoom work, I can contact all three. If you live in the UK and you're willing to spend a little bit of money to help me, why not go on jw.org, scroll down to find a meeting, and then type in the search box France or Spain or Belgium or Holland or Germany and look for an English-speaking congregation in those countries. Now, I reckon if you can get me three or four English-speaking congregations in that country, say France, you're going to put the France branch, I couldn't say that, could I? The, the branch in France to all the trouble of contacting every single English-speaking congregation in that country saying, Oh, may we, may we, do not speak to this Robert. He is a horrible roast beef man. Oh, he's horrible. You, you get the picture? It's going to cause them a lot of trouble to contact all the Kingdom Halls telling them not to speak to me. So you're causing them trouble. So if people could help me, even if just one or two contacts, that would be appreciated. But please, be very clear and very precise because if you're not precise and clear I can't use the information and I certainly cannot afford to telephone abroad. Bear in mind that um, I haven't done any thus far from the Republic of Ireland. Uh, I haven't been able to contact Jersey and Guernsey which are on the French um, phone system even though they're part of the UK and I haven't been able to contact the Isle of Man which is on the Republic of Ireland phone system. So 
check on my channel see if I've done Jersey or Guernsey or Paris or Barcelona or Berlin and if I haven't why don't you phone up those congregations get the zoom details for an English speaking congregation and then give that to me and then I can make some more videos thank you